Well, the history, my father bought uh, the property in 1991. Uh, it took him about two years to restore the property and, and open it up basically as a Christmas village and a giant Christmas store, which was the anchor of the business um, for a long, long time. Uh, fast forward to 2020, I bought the property for my mom and dad, me and my wife, Angie. And in the last 15 months, we've kind of had the quite the whirlwind of change uh, with Canterbury. We are no longer in the retail business, meaning the Christmas. Uh, I've leased out every square foot of this place to great uh, local vendors, Yates, Wooden Tulip, Scott's Farm, you name it. We have some really, really great small vendors here. And then uh, we've, we've gotten known for our family events uh, that we, uh, we do with our programming. Uh, dinosaurs, Halloween, holiday, food truck rallies, things of that nature. And our calendar for 2022 is by far our biggest ever and it's going to be a crazy summer here. Uh, just go to our Facebook site. I mean, we got everything on there. Uh, our, our social media team does a great job of keeping people up to speed on what Canterbury is doing. So just go to Facebook, Canterbury Village, and then obviously you can go to CanterburyVillage.com on the web, but that'll take you to Facebook as well. I, I own Dino Stroll, um, and uh, we've, we've been around the country. Last June was our first uh, uh, first road show in Philadelphia, and so we've been at it for about seven months now. And last weekend we were in St. Louis. This weekend we're in Chantilly, and uh, been all over the country. And it's been a whirlwind. So I never thought I'd be in the uh, dinosaur carnival business, but I am. And uh, I've had a lot of fun and me and my wife have had a great uh, 15 months and our charity and giving has been awesome and we're, we're very lucky and very happy. Well, we have three big charities right now. Uh, Jay Towers with Jay Juniors in 15 months, we raised over a little over $70,000 for his uh, charity, which is helping sick kids. He takes them to Disneyland every year. And then uh, <clears throat> we've teamed up with Metro Detroit Chevy dealers and the Bottomless Toy Chest. Uh, we've raised in the last two Christmases thousands and thousands of toys. Uh, this year we decided to go a little above and beyond and we donated $5,000 to uh, the Bottomless Toy Chest. They do a wonderful job with kid pediatrics uh, for 12 months of the year. And then uh, this year, uh, this summer, this past summer, we opened up our own food pantry on our campus along with Woodside Bible Church. We call it the food, Village Food Pantry. And uh, it's been a whirlwind, it's been very fun. Uh, I'm super uh, proud of the, the, the charity aspects we've given. And uh, in the next few weeks, we're going to uh, announce our fourth charity partner. And then obviously, um, Matt Pfeiffer gave me a nice phone call uh, about a week or so, so ago. Um, I, I can't tip my cap to Matt enough what he does for our community. And if we had another 25, 30 Matt Pfeiffers in, in Lake Orion, it would be awesome. And uh, he asked me, or Canterbury Village, for a nice donation for the uh, <clears throat> Your Food Drive going on. And of course, I'm always willing to uh, donate and help out. And, uh, you know, just because I have my own food pantry doesn't need other ones don't need help as well. So Canterbury donated $1,000 to uh, to the food drive and, and your, um, your uh, program in the next couple of weeks here. But if everybody pitched in, that's well to do, like you just said, in our community, and, and a lot of people have, you know, hopefully Oxford Orient Fish, uh, Village Food Pantry, hopefully we can help uh, bring that to attention and really stop a hunger in our own little community of Oxford and Orion and hopefully continue it, you know, through Oakland County and then Metro Detroit. And you know what? We live in America. Nobody should go hungry. I mean, our number one goal in America, no matter what side of the aisle you're on, no matter what you believe in, nobody should be hungry.